Okay, okay so let's put a little brown sugar in the mix. I know y'all remember the movie Brown Sugar. Brown Sugar, babe. When did you fall in love with hip hop? Everybody gonna answer the question, but when did you fall in love with hip hop? I said I never fell in love with hip hop. I, I fell in love with music. You know, like when 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 I started when I started um, doing music, like my dad was really military, so I didn't I didn't have any specific genre that I was tied to. When I fell in love with music in general, I was I was a kid, uh, and then I just fell, I just fell in love with cadences. I fell in love with beats. I fell in love with rhythms, and so that's why it's easy for me to to cross over in every genre of music, which I I make you know EDM, rap, trap, techno, trance. I was a DJ. I DJ that trance bars before I became a hip hop artists i made retro 80s beats you said that trans bars yeah like transsexuals and trans clothes nigga trans music trans, <laughs> trans, <laughs> the, the trans and text that. and techno trans music that's a whole oh, different job i'm music. just saying bro. i don't know i don't know bro <laughs> I'm like, I, ain't even, I didn't even know they had their own clothes. I, they do though. And my nigga DJ I, 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 I ain't gonna hold you, DJ. Yeah. I, I was on your time. So yeah. I was like, that nigga said, I'm DJing in the trans clothes. Trans, 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 trans music. Trans, 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 Hey, it might have been a lot of people on there. I'm up in the trans club, didn't Right, right. <laughs> you know, I don't fuck with them. They don't fuck with me. I just go in there and DJ. Yeah, I think, you know. You said, fuck the LDQ club. Yeah, I'm going to go in the trans club. Yeah, I'm going to go in the trans club. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. City. I got all my people with me. See the suckers in the city. Gotta put them for the air. Yeah, we good in the city. I got all my people with me. See the suckers in the city. We gotta put them for the air. Hey, come and have a seat. Got a point in here. This for training. Yes, sir. You already know it's your boy Wise Guy Q, and we back like crack. Who was here? Man, we ain't never <laughs> left, and we good. We good. You already know. And you already know yeah. it's your girl 100. 100 the great Southside 100. Just all that good stuff, keeping really? it a hundred. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I am behind the scenes DGs. Cool ass DG. Coolest nigga on our platforms. And we got with us, man. He, uh, we good alumni now for this thing. Sure. You know what I mean? Coming back off in the building, a return guest. Yeah. My boy, TDO Von T. Yes, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's, good, What's good, bro? It's feel good to be back here again. You know, finally, uh, people are, you know, out in the military. Shit feels great. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. You retired, that, that. you had that retirement, bro. Yeah, I had a retirement party out there in uh, Carrollton, Georgia. Yeah. Um, I was, was supposed to made it, man. My bad about that, bro. Yeah, man. It was, it's, it's all good. You know, I know stuff happens, but everything like that. But a lot of folks came out, showed some love. Uh, had artists come out there, lose, lose artists, lose. Shout out to Lou, man. Tim sure. was my host. G Man Entertainment from Virginia came out there. Yeah, uh, okay. A lot of folks came out there. Thank you know. G Man just followed me on IG. Right. I was wondering where they follow me from. Okay. Yeah, it's my management label out there down in Virginia. So I've been rocking with them for about a good two years. So. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. I heard um, everything went through with that petition. So the petition is still up and running right now. Um, yeah, we still got a lot of numbers that's coming in on the petition. A lot of folks. I are, definitely are, sign all my people's side. Yeah, I, sign, I appreciate sure. that. Yeah, 
yeah, the petition is still moving. I'm able to really move differently now that I'm retired. So um, I'm actually, you know, glad that I'm back on your platform, you know, especially that y'all was to have me back here again to kind of talk about it. You know, the petition that is going up, that's still moving up, the numbers is going up and everything like that, is to help other people not have to go through the situation that I went through in the military. Because you should be able to freely be who you are and do what you want to do, oh, bro. Exactly. So, you know, we already yeah. talked about yeah, that before. Yeah, to a certain yeah. extent. Yeah. Tell, tell I mean, I think you should. Because she don't, I mean, ain't got to yeah. go all the way deep down into it, but just tell her a little bit about it. Okay. She, she wasn't here on the first Yeah, so, you know, I love, I love meeting somebody who... Who don't really know the who don't really know the story, so I can kind of just give you like a brief rundown. So it's interesting that you say to a certain extent. Before I talk about that though, can you tell me why you say that? Yeah, I want to know too. One hundred. Yes. You was supposed be, us to be, be a good nigga boy. Be, no, be who you are, but just with certain aspects with different age groups. I don't agree with certain things with but, certain age groups. Like, so I agree to be who you are. I get that. But certain things that's coming out with our youth, I don't totally but, but agree with. But what's dope? The what, what's not dope about are. being a, a rapping soldier? You no, know what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah, that's, not, what, that's not, what you're yeah. talking about, though. No, I'm, I was talking about the in general oh, be who okay. you are. In like, okay. yeah, yeah you know, okay. to a certain extent. Yeah, okay, but what okay. you got going on, that's dope, and I don't understand how yeah. they could hate on that. Like, he gave yeah. me a brief rundown how, like, the military is trying to hate on you being right. a hip hop artist or whatnot. Yeah, it, yeah, they actually gave me, they actually, they actually charged me. They, you know, I got three, three criminal charges on my military record because of that. Hey, yeah, um, you know, they try to, you know, uh, tear my name apart because of, because of hip hop music that's that's solely because of what it was it wasn't like you know I was dealing drugs I wasn't I wasn't even promoting near posts I wasn't talking about nothing political it's just because it was hip hop music so yeah. um that right there in itself was wrong uh, and I had to do something about it. Do you, you know? think they do that shit to any other genre of music except hip hop? Like, see, I'm pretty sure people spread themselves through rock and roll and everything. Yeah, they like I got, I got some friends who who serve in the military, white people, you know, who are musicians, who make country music, who make rock and roll music, same rank as me, and they disagree with what happened, and they are still moving forward and doing what they got to do within the music, you know, and it's still that being just able to lets serve. you know how popular. If you want, you can hit it. That just lets you know how popular rap music is, though. Yeah. You know what I'm but saying? We've been yeah. going through that. But so yeah. NWA, even before that. Yeah, they didn't want, they probably didn't want you to have that much influence because they know how cool it is to be a rapping soldier. You know what I'm saying? To have a whole bunch of little mini rapping soldiers. People want right. to come to the army right. just Same to rap. what Master P did. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You he wasn't even no real soldier. Yeah, that's like starting a whole movement But I feel like too, too much influence gets you killed. Yeah. Like, it, you, got that, you got the two percenters that's, that's making it, but too much influence... I feel like you got. I, I feel like this. I feel like with great. I I got this great saying. I, I say, and it's it's a saying that ain't even mine. They say with great power come great responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I feel like you got to know what you're signing up for. And the people that get themselves fucked up is because they take advantage of their power. You know what I'm saying? Because it's that easy to do. Because you have that power to take advantage of that power. So it's like with great power come great responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility for, a, a, you know, you probably came right out of what, high school and you're a soldier or you might have went to college. I don't know. I, I, I went to college first. You know, I went to college. I did a semester of college. But the only reason why I even joined the military was because I believed in this whole, you know, American dream shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I actually believed that I could I could go. I could I could you know, join the military and I can serve this country and actually still pursue my version of what the American dream is. Mm -hmm. My version of the American dream ain't a white person's version of the American dream. We ain't raised the same way, you know what I'm saying? Like we ain't had the same opportunities. So why the hell would I get on the track and talk about something that I don't know? Why would I talk about, you know, kicking back and, and, and chucking corn and, and dog and my right, girl, right, like, right. you know what I'm saying? I, that's not the music that I made. That's not what I grew up seeing. My version of the American dream was our culture and my hip hop, hip hop community so that's what I, I went back to thinking that I was going to be able to pursue that yeah in real life I mean you know people be trying to get better that's all they advertise for us anyway you know so even it's like people try different avenues to still try the same thing you know what I'm saying like I'm going to do this to find this 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, hip hop is the only thing they want to put on the <laughs> forefront. Shout out True. to the doctors and everybody else that's out there that's doing what they doing. Right. You know, entertainment is just in the forefront, and they can't they can't blame like you birthed a child and then want to goddamn stifle. Me. It's crazy because it's the same thing that I say. I was like, if any music is American, it's hip hop. Yeah, hip hop was born right here in, in real life. Out of yeah. Everything that from the into. struggle and everything. You feel me? Like I always challenge people when every time they say something about hip hop music, I'm like, turn on the TV right now and go to any commercial, any commercial that's out there right now. Our music is the one that's playing in the background with a white person voiceover on it. You know, you can't go to yeah. no commercial that's out there right now that ain't playing our music on there. But all the way down to these car insurance commercials right. that get right. on my damn nerves. Right. Like, I'll be dead ass bopping thinking it's a new song on the radio. And then they'll start talking about somebody that yeah. hit my car, broke my back. I'm like, what? Right. But whoever be, the production on that motherfucker be, be lit. Be lit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I see the whole thing without me, everything that I went through with them, I still never let them see me fold. Like, I still never let them see me, you know what I'm saying, the pressure that they was trying to put on me. Even when, when I was still active duty, I still released the track called Undefeated just to let them know subliminally. Like, I'm going through this, but I'm still undefeated and I still stand with us. I'm still right. And we still started pushing out more music videos, started, you know, the music started rising even more. I started raising more cane. I was raising hell on this shit, like, for real. Mm. For sure, for sure. You be here, I remember seeing you on interviews like every week. You be posting a new interview on hey, everybody. Yeah. Gotta stay busy. Gotta yeah, stay I mean, moving. And you be hitting them show after I seen you at the HHF Awards. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He gotta fuck them up. That's just pissing them off even more. He gotta stay in their face like he really doing what he doing. So that's showing them passion and goddamn consistency. You right. feel me? Like, I'm really doing this and y'all don't want me to do it. Mm. You're right. I was gonna snatch me as good as nigga what's that boy. new song you just do? I need to look at That shit be stuck in my head. What's the new song singer you got? Uh, this new single called Lit. That's the one. Yeah. That, 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 that lit. Be you know. That shit catchy as hell. Yeah, like, yeah. It's charting right now. It's at, uh, what's that, number 23? How to hook up, how to hook up. Yeah, how did get so lit? How did it get so lit? How did it get so lit? I can hit your bitch. How did it get, get, so hey. hey. get so lit? Everybody hey. in the bitch trying to drip like this. Hey. Hey. You know, okay. So I'm That's working it. on a mega mix right now. Like I got like a lot of artists I'm tapping into. I already talked to M NPR Richie Rich. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to reach out to Hot Boy. Yeah. And I got other. I got like some talent that I'm seeing out. Like I'm definitely going like try to tap into some of these indie artists. Like I want because the, the volume that is on is called Indie in a Major Way. It mm -hmm. wouldn't be an indie in a major way single without some of the hottest indie artists that's coming out of Atlanta I got for the moment. Real life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to fill it up. So you got to do it that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Okay, so let's put a little brown sugar in the mix. I know y'all remember the movie Brown Sugar. Brown sugar, baby. When did you fall in love with hip-hop? Everybody going to answer the question, but when did you fall in love with hip-hop? I said I never fell in love with hip-hop. I, I fell in love with music. You know, like when 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 I started when I started um, doing music, like my dad was really military, so I didn't I didn't have any specific genre that I was tied to. When I fell in love with music in general, I was I was a kid, uh, and then I just fell, I just fell in love with cadences. I fell in love with beats. I fell in love with rhythms, and so that's why it's easy for me to to cross over in every genre of music, which I I make you know EDM, rap, trap, techno, trance. I was a DJ. I DJ that trance bars before I became a hip hop artists i made retro 80s beats you said it trans bars yeah like transsexuals and trans clothes nigga. trans music trans, <laughs> trans, <laughs> the, the trans and text that. and techno trans music that's a oh, whole okay. different genre i'm of music. just saying bro. i don't know i don't know bro <laughs> I'm he like, I, ain't even, I didn't even know they had their own clothes. I, I, they do though. No, like, and my nigga DJ I, 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 I ain't gonna hold the DJ. I, I was on your time. So yeah. I was like, that nigga said I'm DJing the trans club. Trans music. Hey, I just say it. Get to that motherfucking bag. I'm glad we're getting in there. So for the folks that don't know trans and techno or genres or music. Glad you cleared that up. Hey, it might have been a lot say, of people I mean, on you know, that. I'm going to be the trans club this week. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't fuck with them. They don't fuck with me. I just go in there and DJ. Yeah. I, you know. said, fuck the LDBQ club. I'm going, yeah, I'm going yeah, to be the trans. Yeah. 
Oh, shit. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. You know, he from Cali, too. Yeah, yeah, he from the West Coast. Yeah, you know, I'm running yeah. to everybody out there. You know, we so yeah, condensed yeah. out there on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no telling who you run into. So you might run into a trans club out there. I ain't been to one yet, but I'm hey. pretty sure if it's Let anywhere, it's in California. So. Hey. <laughs> oh, we. It got me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> It's your boy MD Uno live with the We Good Podcast. And it's Wise Guy Q, and you know we stay good, baby. And uh, if you a pie head like me, then you need to listen up real quick. I'm finna tell you about something in these streets. We call it crack pies. Home of the sweet potato pies. It's the crack for me. Hey man, it ain't just sweet potato pie, it's sweet potato cheesecake pies, bro. Yeah, man. How they do that? How they do that? Man, I don't know, man, but it's the official sponsor of the We Good Podcast. Go to Crack Pies on all your social media networks. So if you got that sweet tooth, then we have your addiction, you know what I mean? So tell them what to do, Moop. Go to www.crackpies.com, and that's crack with a K. Or you can contact us at 1 833 89 Crack with a K. You know what I mean? And don't forget, with your neighborhood dessert dealers, it's the crack for me. It's the crack for me. Get at them. This <laughs> crack shit that's got me, man. I don't got no control over it, man. I should just be calling me, man. I be calling me, man. I just gotta go to it. <laughs> So with the petition, man, what we got to do to wrap it up? So with the petition, you know, I'm still pushing forward and getting um, more people to sign it. You know, it's it's a it's going to be a marathon, not a sprint. Like, because people don't realize how important the situation is until it hits their doorstep. Like, they yeah. say, okay, this dude was a, was a soldier and he was rapping, but it ain't got nothing to do with me. Actually, it does. Yeah. Because if you got kids and you got sisters or brothers who aren't artists and who ain't in the creativity field yeah. that we are all in and they do want to just work and be a soldier, but maybe one day they have a an idea that they want to do something that ties back to their culture well if we don't create that safe space for them now you're doing them an injustice by not signing the petition and trying to make sure that your cousin niece or daughter or nephew or son wants to do something outside the military that's not breaking the law you know what I'm saying? Because hip hop music ain't breaking the law. It's hip hop music. So if they're not breaking the law, like I feel like if you support it, like that's what needs to happen. Yeah, like, I don't yeah. That's what needs to happen for real. Like that. Yeah, so that's yeah. the next step. It's gonna be a I like it, like I like it. Like how does it feel to like be be a pioneer and know you're a pioneer? I would say like it is it's a it's a it's a responsibility. That also is a burden at the same time. So I mean, because it's not what I, this is not what how I envision coming through. Oh, I already know. You know what I'm saying? Like I was trying to make my music stand out for itself. I wanted people to accept me as an artist. This, you know, I feel like anybody who did something great in history, they never, they never asked for it. It just happened to them. Like, and this just happened to happen to me, and I just happened to have the capacity and the know with all to be able to bear it. So I have to do with it. You know, mm -hmm. so for me, it feels good, but at the same time, it can be very stressful. Very tense. You know, because everywhere that I go, every event that I go to, I got, I know I got a target on my head. I know I'm still watched by the government. I know they still waiting on me to slip up. I know they still, they still send the ops out to everywhere that I go. Yeah, People yeah, that I ain't yeah. familiar with, all yeah, of that yeah. shit, you know. That fucked up, man. You can't even take a shit in peace. It ain't really. You know, everybody who, even y'all, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who talk to me, you know what I'm saying? Why you put me in that motherfucking <laughs> shit, boy? Hey, man, we good. Y'all pushing the story. That's why I gotta appreciate it. I gotta, I gotta oh, thank y'all. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we pushing the story. We all pushing it. Y'all been pushing it. I've been, yeah, I been interviewing with you for a minute. Yeah, I've been on that fuck shit. I've been on it. I've been on that fuck shit for a long time. I'm like, look, y'all. He deserved to be who he is. I got y'all front. I got y'all front and center. We good mm -hmm. and Cooley TV. I got y'all mm -hmm. first interviews front page on my YouTube channel. So you oh, know man. they going straight to y'all's yeah, platform. Yeah, yeah. So. Come oh, on. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to homie man. Shout out to homie Von T. T D O Von T. He hey, had the yeah. most. He had the most views on our channel forever until. Hey, and yeah. shout out uh, Lashawn Voice because she brought the next guest who took his place. 
You know what I mean? That's the most views ever. You know what I mean? Uh, and Lodge and Lamar so got, got the most views, but you got the second most views still. And yes, you had sir. that title for a minute. I was like, that. Yeah, that Valentino. I'm coming to watch that interview, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we, yeah, yeah. Everybody who showed me love, man, they, they yeah. you know what I'm saying, put their platform on the line to, 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 the, to tell my story, man. I feel like like my, my team, like, yeah, we going to show y'all love. And, you know, we got a lot of interviews, and y'all see them like they come out, but I try to make sure that I tap in and everybody who show me some love and make sure that I give them they do you know you know go follow them yeah show them some love all yeah. that so, in real life real. that shit dope yeah man for sure man look I, I, um, we got the cards oh yeah we gonna do that for sure oh yeah grab them bitch they right there behind 100's oh, okay. by the Vaseline okay <laughs> well, what, you been, Vaseline. what you been on what you been on now what you what you got go, going on right now Talking about like uh, as far as when I'm working on everything. Yeah. So right now, like I said, like I'm working on the, the remix to Lit, and then for anything for you, I got a new single that's coming out called Anything for You. Uh, we just got done shooting the video in Atlanta not that long ago, uh, and we gonna we gonna change up. Um, I'm gonna release the single and I'm gonna release the video and the animation because everybody who follows me they know I do like animation videos too. We we gonna do a major release the first time ever that I'm doing this. Um, but we're gonna release all three of them at the same time. We're gonna pick a date and we're gonna, it's a, it's a joint for the ladies. I already performed it in like, you know, 13 states last year and a couple of them this year. So uh, I'm ready to release that and see how, see how the ladies gonna like it. I'm, I'll be performing it though all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I remember you telling us about that one last time. Yeah. You was on the show that you were gonna try out that one. Yeah. Yeah, yep, man. that's the, still the one we working on. We got a major release coming up for it. So everything is almost done. I'm still work, putting the last little touches on my animation. And then after that, we're going we gonna, to uh, we gonna put this campaign together. So right now, but also, you know, we got the Drop TV show that I'm about to be ready to appear on right here in Atlanta as well. Be a member for that. And then I'll probably film some more of uh, the Betrayal TV show series out of California. So, you know, working on that stuff. Other than that, like, we're still like, still, like moving, you know. That Betrayal TV series, they still opening up cash on that right there. What's that? Which one? That Betrayal TV series. If, if, you know, when I got in contact with my producer, he's also one of my friends. So if there's talent in the area and they can move, uh, you know, I'm trying to get them to come down here to shoot some scenes, but if they can move, yeah, we, I'm pretty sure we can. Good, I got some good actors I'm trying to get off in the door, man. I'm some, yeah. Yeah, I got some projects that y'all trying. I got, you know, I have to do my management thing. Now, let me see some of uh, when, when we get a chance, let me see some of their material. I can go ahead and pass it to them and let them check them out. For sure, for sure. Some, so. yeah. right, so, for sure. That's so what them shows looking like. Yeah, performance is still, they still, you put the head on, man. The dance. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The damn schedule is crazy right now. Like, uh, I can't even off the top of my head, like, LaShawn got the whole schedule, but yeah, I don't mm -hmm. even know. Like, it's it's a lot that's coming up right now. Uh, and then, you know, after the Hip Hop Fraternity Award and presenting the awards, I got another one I'm presenting the awards to. Uh, We're gonna be at that Soul Award, yeah, right? that the, black, the Black Online yeah. Award. I think black. Yeah, we should be there. I got a couple of people in there. Shout out to Selena J, the actress. Shout out, shout out to Lola Sparks. Both of them, you know, nominees off in that thing. For sure, for sure. For sure. For sure. They say he wear the he wear the head because uh, he don't want people to to judge his music by his face. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why I wear the hell. Cause my nigga make all type of music. It be different. It's some music you would hear from him and you wouldn't even know it. <laughs> Is that a fact or not a fact? That is a yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. Sure. He got some shit with Ty yeah. Dollar Sign too. Yeah. 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 yeah still got that whip. Still got that track that we working on. Got one supposed <clears> to be coming out this year still with Travis Scott. So I'm still working putting on that together as soon as he you know, bounce back from that whole Astro World stuff. We will get back on the table with that. So uh, yeah. I'm looking forward you to that. You think gonna bounce back from that? I think so. I mean, I, I think so. You know, people don't give a fuck no more. I forgot. They don't. <laughs> Time heals was, it all. But that was a lot. You think you um, should have got went through all that? It ain't his fault technically, though, right? Is it? I don't think so. Nah, I, I, but it like somebody got to take the fall. And Cause he, he he ain't recognize it right? right until it was like already oh, up in no. his face, right? And yeah. then he he shut the show down. But I'm different though, cause it's like oh, once I seen that, yeah, he, he did keep it going. That was he probably, the whole thing. See that what he get for being a content creator yeah. in that moment. He seen an ambulance ride through that crowd. He like, oh, they gonna look good on camera. <laughs> you know, he said, he said they gonna look good he on camera. He, he should have never been a good content creator that day because he sacrificed. 
<laughs> he don't even know it. Did somebody die? Oh, oh yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he lost. That's why he lost. He should just cut it. He he would have looked better just cutting the whole show. Cause he would have like he would have been, but he seen the, the ambulance. Fight. Nah, he seen the ambulance. Say, oh, this look good. My show is fine. And it pack. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> and it pack. It's like a half. Well, a on one it's hand, half it's it's man. not it's not your fault. So it's like that nigga was standing in the top. You know like how much money box. you got on the line, hey. and sometimes that's what people think about most. <laughs> because it is it technically you know after that. And I'm a concert Go to goer. It. You okay. get what I'm saying? And when they start doing these, you know, and I'm a front row floor section. Yeah. I, I'm not In going the to the. Con- I'm shit. not going to no concert if I gotta have a YouTube view of it. Like yeah. it's, I'm just okay. either okay. I'm gonna I'm spin it up or not. Yeah. But lately they've been having like. No seating arrangements where it's just like hey, well, standing first room. come, first serve. Yeah, not after after the Travis Scott shit. I ain't, I ain't, hey, man, like just I think ain't. about them like sardines. Them people in the section, like yes. one, it's COVID time. Like, why would you want to be that close? First of yeah. all, like, but then again, you know he ain't giving a fuck. He up there. <laughs> I mean, he I was mean, up yeah. there. Like he was up there, and he seen it. <laughs> he liked it. I'm telling you, that nigga. That what you he, think, that why, that why he what's your, that. What's your thoughts, bro? Yeah, I just say like for the amount of folks that he had at his show, um, it's kind of hard to put the blame all on one one guy. Yeah. You know, like that's what this whole team is there for. You know, the security and all the other folks who's yeah, supposed to be coordinating all this stuff. Shut down a whole the, it was like, bullshit. Was, he had the microphone. People. He had like, the microphone, bro. He had the microphone. He could say, "Hey, hey, hey, cut, hey, 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 hey." This nigga liked it. That shit had to be good. Even if you had to say, "Hey, hey, hey," this and that, these people are fans. These people are people. But the music stopped though. He would have said, "What?" They wouldn't give a damn about what he was saying. I think once the music would have stopped, check this out, bro. He would have said, "Hey, hey, hey." They just would have started bombing their hands. Club crowd started this shit. That's what he got for my ear. And the sound nigga was trying to get some pussy. <laughs> 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 that was the one. That's why he didn't give a fuck. He was like, fuck it, let me rock out. Q with a blast. I'm trying to make something <laughs> safe. My fault. Yeah, but it's the truth, though, right? Yeah. This was a hard battle. Oh, oh, that was a hard oh, pill oh, to swallow. How do you. I where did you get that tabloid from? Which one? Which one? The cameraman was shot. The, the sound man, it's the sound man. The sound man. He was trying to get some pussy at the Travis Scott fucking festival. Pussy getting hours. You feel me? Like, come on, man. He the sound man. Yeah, baby, I can get you in. I'll give you a better view. What you, you feel think, me? What you think? <laughs> I can eat better view. As far as like the whole event, he picking about one person being the black. It's definitely not one. Person. No, it's the sound man. Really. But you think he could, it's the security? <laughs> you think Trevor Scott could just shut it all the way down by himself? It's, it's the sound man, 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 bro. The sound man put to be listening. That's not fair for him to be. Yeah, that ain't and fair, man. And no one yeah, end up having more work and then still have I don't to agree with it. everything. He paid he security people to look out right. for that stuff. That's not exactly. his job. Yeah, yeah, yeah but she, he, he got like, his name on the event. That's what the problem is. That's, that's the it. hard part about it. You know, that shit had got too big, bro. Yeah. That shit, like, bro, how do people die in the crowd, bro? That like some sardine shit. And that's what happened. Everybody rushed to the front. Like, literally. Like, that's crazy. Were so like, the people, people that, just stepping on people. I don't the people fuck. that got that vibe. Yeah, so it's like pressure against Gates and other people. So the right. people who got there first. Come on, they were fucked. Yeah. When, when, does, when does the head figure get charged? Because if that was the case, Shouldn't Donald Trump have got charged for I some of this stuff? I fuck with Donald Lee. Donald Lee, you better leave Donald Lee alone. You better leave Trump alone. Fuck Donald Trump. Y'all better leave him alone. But didn't that, that shit have happened to him at the Capitol? Yeah, they stole the Capitol. I bet y'all miss him right now, or do y'all like Biden? But how they gonna blame Trump? I didn't want to blame him. They gonna blame one, blame the other. That's all I'm saying. Biden. 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 Biden.
I'm not so even remember what happened yesterday. He just <laughs> mad. I'm just Bill Clinton, Clinton girl. girl. That's shit. Biden don't even know what's going on. He just <laughs> mad. What's going on today? I don't care about either one of the parties, but I'm just saying. Donald Trump, I miss him. I miss Bill Clinton. I miss some chicks. Man, you everybody <laughs> miss Donald Trump, bro. I mean, I, Fuck yeah, Donald Trump. Yeah, 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 I, 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 yeah I, everybody got to be real I, about that. I, I, I love, I, I love Obama. Man, oh, you can say that. Okay, yeah. Okay, but, Obama. nah, I ain't gonna hold you. Nah, I miss Trump. Nick. That that nigga Donald Trump put niggas on. <laughs> exactly. He he he, he, like he, put, like, he put niggas that ain't never ain't ever ever like, had see, shit of, in their life on. Ain't no and that's one thing you can say ain't nobody ever had shit in their life. Yeah, and that's how people want that. the opportunity. But and that like even before that, I mean, he was the president. We knew Donald Trump was gonna come in. Yeah, but he ain't gonna come in. Even before he was the president, we knew Donald Trump for being. With money, so, yeah. and then it's like I, you can't even be mad no, at the man if you can't about, be real. To me, it ain't about his money. It's about the. It's about easy money to read. He that, easy to read. He black about, and white. He gonna tell you me. what it is. Yeah. He gonna tell you a money move. That nigga don't try to tell you money move. He was always a good business man. Yeah. Yeah. So he gonna tell you. Yeah. That's yeah. Exactly. What other reason? Fuck you, Donald Trump. I mean, I guess so. I'll tell you, he made my situation with the military a lot harder. I mean, I can so, believe I can know, him. Yeah. Like, I mean, he like he like niggas stay in your place. Right. And he <laughs> gave them the power to start doing Okay, well, goddamn, I'm conflicted. Fuck Donald <laughs> Trump. I still fuck with Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. I can't help it, bro. Oh. I can't help it, but Jackie don't like a person all the way. It's just like, shit, it is what it is. Yeah. One thing I am mad about, you know, even though it still ain't too late, what? you know, the Simpsons predictions, they be right. spot the fuck on. But they been wrong, huh? Y'all missed that about one. That y'all, one. Y'all so what the hell coming it. up next? Because well, I need to know. You know. I don't know, man. Right. You need to watch the Simpsons. What Simpsons I episode are we on when we can, we can get on right. point? I need Nigga, to find out. Nigga, I don't want to be but in none for, of their predictions. For, for <laughs> years, they've been all the way down to Kanye crazy ass. For years, the Simpsons Maybe been spot the fuck let's off. get conspiracy theory, Von T. Maybe they decided to be wrong on purpose. Just to throw us off, Q. Don't pass DG no more blunts. It could be. It could be. Wrong. It could it be, be bro. Are you talking about that it one time? Be. Yeah, because it's like, bro, niggas start catching on, bro. Look what the Simpsons say. They predicting everything right. And everything we were seeing, it was right. These niggas say, oh, but they getting too small. They get a few But look, how do we also know that it ain't that app that just creates some, some images and then somebody trying to convolute the information we getting? Like, how do we know? Because we know we've seen people oh, Simpsonize no. themselves. Yeah, how but. How do we know that? Do we, have we ever been, seen, have we seen the episode? It's been years. I need to see the episode. I ain't seen this episode personally. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm saying. Nigga just believe that. Nigga just believe that. See, they say they got an episode of them right in the camera. And I need to see it. I want to see the episode and I want to see the air date. That's what I want to see. Let me see it. Because if yeah. you're going to post the episode of The Simpsons with George Floyd dying and then the episode came out after he died, a day after he died, okay, yeah. I called BS on that. Now, yeah. You didn't predict that. You didn't predict that. That's the that. day after. Fuck. <laughs> Even the same day kind of hard. <laughs> the same day kind of hard, ain't it? Right. You got to be a day early. Yeah. At least a day early. But if you're a day yeah. early, you fine. Yeah. If you the day before you if fight, you the day you the killer. It's a. It, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was about to say something like that. Yeah, if you, if you, if you the day. Or the fifth element. One of them little things that be no, that's oh, what that is. Yeah, that be in the pool. Did it. What's the little motherfucker that be in the pool, bro? Did it. Minority reports. Premeditated and all. Yeah, all that shit. That's evidence. That's what they call that. Hard. Use that for real. <laughs> That hard. Oh, hey, man. Q, I, I guess you're going down for the murder anyways. Which one? Ain't nobody killing nobody. <laughs> Not you, Chris. Oh. Okay. We, oh, man, we got a new game, man, on the show, man. We be doing this thing called Pick the Ace, right? Uh, where we all go through the deck, pick a card. First person get to the ace, got to do like a truth or death situation. You pick truth or death. Um, if you pick truth, you just tell us a, a true fact about yourself. That you don't mind sharing that people might not know. Self-incrimination? Mm-hmm. No, not self-incrimination. We don't do that shit. <laughs> so. You know what I mean? Statutory limitations. Statutory limitations. Yeah, that way. That shit. Whatever that shit is called. What yeah. shit called? Statutory limitations. Statutory limitations. Statutory limitations. Yeah. Statutory limitations. That way. Within that shit. That way. 
Yeah. No, out okay, without that you. shit, outside that shit, right? <gasps> no. Because if it's, if, no, if it's within nigga, that, 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 stipulation. That's self incriminating outside of that shit. No, but if it's in within stipulation, right? That what? means. Okay, back to the cards. <laughs> okay, look. Yeah. I'm tripping, man. Go ahead. If you, because you finna confuse me. I'm sorry. If if you pick there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we I'll, I'll, we're gonna we're gonna date you to do some shit. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. But yeah. if you don't do the day, you gotta take a shot. And we ain't got none. Uh, or something. I got you. We're gonna figure something out. But um, I just drunk the little liquor. I just drunk the little wine. Uh, there's two jokers in the deck. If you pick either joker, it's an automatic deck. Automatic deck. What is the truth? Yeah. The tr- yeah. And what does that mean? Dare. What happened there? Automatic dare. Oh, dare. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like. So what happened? What, what that mean? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to tell you. I had played the game before with somebody, and I wrote on. Oh, it's big a little now. Yeah. Well. The aces, they different and they mean something. I don't give a but, damn. It's yeah, an ace. Yeah, okay. We ain't talking yeah, about we just, Okay, and the kings and jack got something on it. No, so, you see, yeah, they ain't worn them down. Like you talking about worn down the Kool Aid. I ain't try to. It's simple, but okay. we not going to buy by the rules on them. I got to go buy a new deck now. Yeah. Where you getting them from? I don't know. I want that same Walmart. deck. I want that same deck. That same Walmart. deck one. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. What we doing? I shuffled it. Let me see what we got. Oh, oh, however you want to do it. Yeah, you can cut it. Now you can cut it however you want to do it. This is. You can just pass my mind. Hey, yeah. Do it like that. Oh, shit. Okay. God damn it. That's yours. The, the kids right there, kid. <laughs> 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 yeah. Let's just say, pass my mind. Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah, that's I, you. I, I just, pay, uh, you hmm. there. There. Uh-huh. See, mm. see I wrote there on that one. You feel me? You Instead did. of we're okay. gonna go it's four aces in the deck though, so we're gonna keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you just pull till somebody get an ace or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like oh, Russian yeah. roulette, that yeah. shit get excited. Yeah, that was we, really exciting just then. Well, he caught the bullet off <laughs> the first just, pool. I just had, I just had a story 100. time, but we could we could keep going. Oh, do I, truth. I, I, I'll, I, no, I'll say I'll, I'll say my dare. It was a slight slight story time. How you gonna say your dare? We gotta dare you to do some shit. Oh, oh, oh you yeah. got yeah. big truth for dare. Oh, oh it's you are like dare on the card. Oh, it's the card. No, I'm not with the card. Oh, oh, okay. Everybody keep watering down the game. Yeah, cool. They really were making it more exciting, but I I had forgot to roll them. What's the rule, dude? No, it ain't there. that. The cards mean something. There. Nothing. It ain't nothing changing. In general, it's I, just I'm a there. Is that us giving the. I ain't got no death for you right now. She got one for herself. <laughs> All right, well, you want to save it? Yeah. Because I might come up with some shit. All right, let's go. Put that card on. It's only the card on you. Oh, okay. Six. 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 You can just throw it down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right there. Boom. I got a deck right here. Oh. Ten. One hundred. You got two. Okay. That motherfucker. Three. Loud. Three. You throwing the chair. Yeah. <laughs> Ten. Go ahead. Nine. One hundred. I got you. Go ahead. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Good. That looked like an ace for a second. Almost. I got you. I got you. One hundred. Yeah. Joke. I get the what pass. It. Uh, no, I that, that's, that's, that's his. Look oh, at that shit, man. Oh, oh. That's a pick a shot. See, now that's a pick a shot. So, like, that's a nah, pick a shot. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What the hell is you? We ain't talking about what's on your card, man. I don't know, you're right. I'm talking about that shit. You throwing me off. Okay, that's an automatic dare. All right. No, that ain't. It What the fuck is your shit? My ass. She said, I'm not a dare. It is an automatic dare. It is? Yeah. A joke. Okay, see, I ain't know. Okay, so pick a shot. Don't pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to the DG. Yeah, don't pay attention to the DG. Don't pay attention to the DG. Don't bullshit. It's an automatic dare. Sorry. Okay. All right, so I dare you to put... We good uh, picture of my choice on your uh, Instagram Ooh, store for 24 hours. For what now? A we good that picture hard. of my choice uh, on your Instagram story for 24 hours. Cool. Got it. Done. Right. That hard. 
That was an outside the box oh, one. I thought that was my, I thought that was mine. No, that ain't in my, my turn. Shit anyway. Go ahead, Keith. It ain't passed no more. It's automatic there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. We got to work out these rules before we play this game. Yeah, they, they just confused. I didn't need to. Me. It really simple. It's just on the card. Two. Oh. Okay. There's some fancy cards right there. Right. You know, you ever got I love about them. Cards. Getting, oh, I do want to know. Oh, I got a Joker. Oh, no, that's Jack. Jack. Okay, I was about to say. Let's go again. Go ahead, that nigga. You got to do the Western name, don't you? What? That's me. Okay. That's Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm going to do it Maybe in a second. Maybe I got to shuffle the cards. Did you shuffle these, bitch? Oh, yeah. the eggs on the bottom one. Right. Oh, that's oh, on 100. See, that's the truth for them right there. See, you know what I'm saying? That's the truth for them. So you got one truth for them already. And she got another one. She got to hold on to it? Yeah, she, she, ain't, she ain't answering none of them. Uh, <laughs> you gonna answer all of them one hey, time? You pull mine, man. I will. You are. Right. <laughs> so you got two truths with that. So you gonna do two truths? I'll do one truth, one down. One down. So yeah, I gotta yeah, get mine. a dare for you. That 100 is on you. I'll let Von T do your dare. Oh. You gonna, have, you gonna get a dare for her, bro? Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah, you know, uh, I got a joker oh, again, so I can't take nobody something. else's there. Now I got my own again. I don't know what that you know means. What that a joker? Yeah. yeah. You said shot. Now right. listen to nah, my rules. That's, that's another dare. <laughs> One of y'all got a dare for him? <laughs> yeah, I got my dare already. What y'all got a dare for him? I ain't got one. No, I, I don't think I'd be thinking about right, a shot, want, Brandon. You want to do a true bro for that one? Automatic truth, because since you yeah. got two jokers. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. true. true fact. Yeah. All right, bet, bet. Alright. Y'all wanna end the game right there? I don't know. Ain't there another ace in this one? There's another man in there. Oh, oh that shit on me. Alright, so we got two Go truth from fact from you. Uh truth and endeavor from you. Truth from you. It's on me. Come on. Uh and that's one hundred again, another yeah. truth for death. That's, hey, that's yeah, the other one. That's three lucky, 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 lucky. So you just gonna be having story time at the end, huh? Yeah, yeah. that sounds dope. Just, that's just dope. A, and I don't think there's nothing else left, right? Party got two left. Yeah. And I'm gonna yeah. ace. I thought yeah. ain't gonna. Uh, that's me right that's there. That's on you, yes sir. What, oh, it, what it is? is. That's, that's right true. Right don't listen to that, Q. Remember, don't listen to that. Alright, so I got, I got, I got something to say. You got. Alright, so I dare you to put some of my choice on your Instagram wall. Oh no, but you got the dare. You got a dare for her, bro? Ah, uh, shit. You rap. You sing. Alright. Mm. Let me hear something real quick. Spit mm. something for us. That'll be hard. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get you the beat. You ready? I got it. Uh, okay. Well, I I make them do it, do it. I ain't finna play with this beat. Just rough a couple feathers, lay on back and wait on my feet. Just have mm. my way with this beat. I'm in the yo, stressing, put me in the booth, cause I'm the truth. And my producer really cute as 17th. And if you know him, then you gotta know me. Mm. Southside College Park, from my head to my feet. And mm, when I speak, dope. the only thing I repeat is the fact that I'm a beast and that I'm hungry and I'm coming to eat. And I ain't gotta compete. This ain't no win or no lose. This ain't no fucking Option when 100 walking through and when I walk through I make the hoes ass shake while I'm passing off my drugs with a handshake if you's a broke nigga get the fuck up out my face go the other way mm. this away that away or your mother's way <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. chase the bad hoe the bad chase me ain't nothing free bitch it's always a feat mm. so pay up or so pay up or fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you been holding that way. Yeah. Yeah. That was on top with it. She got that pen game. So I mean, that, my that was hard. My pen. That was hard. I, 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 I like how you. You be cussing me out. <laughs> I like how you just let that ride just then. You ain't, you ain't mm -hmm. got damn fake it. You ain't. Mm -hmm. You were right in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Like jumping like in the booth. Yeah. 
That's but you know, cool. like, share, subscribe, hit the notification <laughs> button. You already know we good with hey, the game. Yeah, yeah. Dirt Town Sound, the epitome of we good music. Got beats. It's your boy, Wise Guy Q, the mouth of the South. And we good, baby. You know what I mean? If you need them beats. Go to www.wiseguyq17.com. That's www.wiseguyq17th.com. You know what I mean? Don't forget the YZ. Beats go hard. Beats go stupid. Dirt Town Sound, baby. All right, so let's get a, let's get a true fact from Brian T before we get your story of time. Yeah. And I'll get them folks a little true fact before we got know your story of time might be a little longer it's than mine. Mine short. So uh, I could pick the truth? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just whatever, bro. Whatever, it's one time. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I guess if I had a true story, it would be that... Most people who don't know um, about my, you know, saying my life, you know, growing up or whatever, uh, like that. I uh, grew up with no brothers, and I had nothing but sisters. And so, for the longest time, when uh, there was issues and stuff that had to be taken care of around the house, I was the one that had to pretty much end up doing it by myself. So I, a lot of these skills that I apply into into music, like I, I was really kind of forced to be big brother, but I was a little brother at the same time. So um, a lot of these skills that I kind of put into, like what I do and how I carry myself as a man and, and, and really like believing in doing good business and stuff is just because like I grew up around a lot of women. And so they really just kind of, you know, drove me to be the person that I am today. So. That's one truth that I that ain't in my bio, so. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. Shout out to strong black women. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the mothers. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what's up. All right, man. So, shit. I give y'all a true fact about me. Uh, when I was younger, my family used to have a singing group. And my uncle used to play the guitar. And they all used to, uh, they used to travel around and they used to sing all over the world. So uh, I used to want to be like my uncle. That nigga used to be little, little just like Prince. He used to dress like Prince, play guitar and all that shit. So I used to go out on stage and I used to be dressed just like him with a fake little play little toilet guitar and shit too. He had all the same little dance moves. You know what I mean? All the little splits and shit that he used to. You know what I mean? <laughs> So yeah, man. Well, Didn't I know that. To a microphone too. You know what I mean? Oh, you was pocking it. You was pocking it. Yeah. All. That, I was cupock later on in my, oh. in my in my life. Goddamn, you know what I mean? I went bald. You know what I mean? I thought I was Tupac for real. Really? <laughs> I, didn't I didn't see your curls. I didn't see your braids. Hey, I yeah, had bald hair for a while. I thought I was Tupac though, around my day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, man, that's a little true fun fact, yeah, that people don't know. So what's up, Juan? Mine is the truth and a dare. I'm going to keep it short. Um, he dared you already. Oh, what, what? It's, a, it's a true story, but it's a dare because I'm I'm telling y'all this, especially on camera. That motherfucker know how to spend some shit so, quick. Nah, for real. That motherfucker <laughs> okay, she make you make it make sense. Okay, so yeah. anywho. They got three cards, but I got a truth and I got a deal. See, could they go but with them? But y'all, you gonna understand when, <laughs> when I put it together. Okay, so boom. This is the story about the first time I met Jeezy or whatnot. So boom. I used to, you know, some years ago, I used to work in this particular club. And this particular night, rest in peace, DJ Nando. This particular night, mm. DJ Nando was hosting a bitch slap contest. So I'm just chilling <laughs> in the club or whatnot. It's this little white girl comes in, you know. And we, you know, we just kicking this shit, kicking the shit or whatnot. And she was like, oh, my, it was this one bitch that used to win the contest every week. She was a stud. And that bitch had a, a cold pimp hand. So back to the conversation they with me and the white girl. They just be slapping each other? Yeah, 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 yeah. So boom, white girl was like, 
boom. I need to, you know, I need to, you know, make this this money, but I don't want to go against her. I really want to, you know, pretend and you see what I'm saying, me me and the other person, we can split the money. I really want to pretend. So at this time, I'm sitting on about two shots of Patron. So I'm like, oh, you want to pretend and, and split the money. Now, mind you, I know they, they throw about three, four, you know, $5,000, you know, at this time. So I'm like, oh, you want to pretend? I'm like, all right, sis, let's pretend. So boom, fast forward, just to, just to keep shit short. I entered the contest with her or whatnot. Now mind you, I told y'all I worked at this club. So of course, my, you know, my hype man and my DJ is gonna hype me up, now mind you. So I forgot all about the pretend conversation me and her had because they hyped me up, you know, whoop de whoop. So when it came down, you know, of course, you know, you go first, you know, this is the home team, why whoop de whoop, whoop, whoop. They counted the three. I slapped the shit out that girl. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I slapped. Bow, slapped the shit out that girl. So after the slap, she bounced back, looked at me like, "Bitch, I thought we was pretending and shit." Like you feel me? Whoop de whoop. At that time, you see what I'm saying? The, I'm probably on the third shot by then, you know. And the, the liquor is settling down. I done forgot that she gets to have a chance mm, or whatnot. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they're going yeah. first thing. Yeah, so, but you we were supposed to be pretending. So I still got pretend in my oh, head. No, you she know, didn't after know more. Done, it was over with. So all I'm going to say is, and I'm going to leave the story like this. You count the, they count the three. You get what I'm saying? Uh, I don't remember nothing after two. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't remember nothing after two. And you know, I stopped the game at the. I, I stopped the game since I was the home team. I just scooped up the money, bitch. We could fight. You know. Ooh, I think I. My bad. I was like, I stopped the game. I was like, since we could fight about it or whatnot. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, and I had her handprint on my face for about a, a week. I, I ain't even gonna hold you. Oh, I have, you know, shout out to the little white girl who slapped shit, uh, who slapped the shit out of me. But I, I don't remember. All I remember is one, two. Yeah, you should let her go it's, first. It's, it's a pause. Mm -mm. But we were supposed to be pretending though. Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah. Because you went first, you could let her go first. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> that, that was my so so you, you understand why it was my truth for the true fan there at the same time. Uh, well, no, it didn't that, make no sense yeah. to be both of them, but it I was. Get it. How dare I tell, how dare I tell y'all a story it. about a white that, bitch? I'm talking about her to make up I'll some be. shit. To make you agree, you know what yeah. that was a horrible ass story. You gonna make the scenario a <laughs> situation, man. This is a dare and a truth, yeah, and a, yeah, and a, yeah, it's right. a double dare. And, this, and right. it's a double dare and a truth. Because that's what you got: two Big cards, three cards. It's it's a double right. dare and a truth, and, and, and a truth. There we go. Knocked out yeah. my three out at the same time. He's talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is really truly just a drinking game. Yeah. 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 No drink. With none. Yeah. I mean, we made it fun, yeah, though, man. We, we made it good. Cause we good. Night, that's why I wrote on them hoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We good, man. We made it good because we good. Yeah, you know I mean? Nice. Come make it do what it do. Yeah. Yeah, I already know. That part of our team. Man, what's, what's going on next with you? So, you know, we got these showcases coming up. So, you know, uh, we got a Mother's Day, kind of like an R&B concert that's coming up out of Douglasville, Georgia. Uh, that is going to be on May 8th. So if y'all in the area pull up, they're going to have amazing food. It's hookah. It's going to be out there. It's called a place called Star Lounge. Where is that? Uh, it's in Douglasville, Douglasville, Georgia. Uh, that is going to be May 8th. Y'all out there, boy. Y'all going to be in the city so, now. Yeah. Man, we do. We do. We do around the city. Hey, man. Hey, everywhere. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Working. So, and then yeah, they on damn get somewhere. <laughs> May 27th, my sister sure. getting married. There's another performance that's going to be out there, another R&B type thing. Going to have okay. R&B artists doing originals and their own singles out there, good covers and, and the original singles. So, you know, uh, you know, you can come out there. The invitation is open. That's in uh, Phoenix City, Alabama. Oh, you know, that's where they're going to be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's way, you know what I'm saying? Way it's a out weird, there, you know. Yeah, my sister's wedding. So, uh, okay. I'll be performing good in that reception. one. Yeah. Good reception yeah, afterwards. Yep, yep, yep. You're gonna be food, you're gonna get fed. So if you would have came to my retirement event, you would have saw everybody got fed. I brought my cook out, he had security, everything like that. So it's the same same vibes, you know, food gonna be served. 
uh, bring your own bottle, stuff like that. So, you know, yeah, like, uh, p for people who want to get, a, like, an update on everything that's going on, like, the shows and stuff, like, because we already, like, booked out. Like, there's a lot mm -hmm. of stuff that's coming up. Uh, you can just hit me up on uh, Instagram, Kovu1278, K-O-V-U-1278. T D O Bon T the Hope and you can just oh send us a message. The whole time. You know. <laughs> I'ma make sure that I get them the info. So country. <laughs> Tell them where to find that petition at, Kyle. Yeah, so it the petition is actually easy to find now because unlike before where I used to have to say go to this link and go that no you ain't got to do that all you got to do is go to Google type in Von T Petition first one that's going to pop up go. you know so you can go to Google and Google Von T Petition you'll see it pop up about. it costs nothing but two seconds of your time to go on there and vote if you know yeah, sign your name sign up, it man. you know what I'm saying sign that shit, man. I would say sign it you know sign it for you the military tried to kick me out I, I, I beat my you know I got out honorably you know by the grace of God and through hard fighting but there it, the fight still got to go on because somebody else out there ain't got the same kind of voice or the power to do this and so that's why I'm really trying to do it so you know, if you going if you got some time, just Google Von T Petition. Go in there and sign it. You know, we're almost up at 300 uh, signatures right now, but it's still climbing. So I still got a long way to go. For sure, for sure. Man. Shout out at the Sean's voice. You know what I mean? Shout out at the late night hype. You know what I mean? No. For sure, for sure. They always be linking us up with different events, man. Definitely appreciate the love. Yeah, you know I mean? got a lot, yeah. lot more events coming up too. Like me and her been working real good, and we've been pushing a lot of stuff out there. So like, we definitely gonna tap in with you and let y'all know what's going on with that. You know, come on out there. For sure, for sure, definitely been out there networking, man. Trying to get network with as many as we can. You know what I mean? Get the brand out there and see what else. You know what I mean? I need to get y'all an interview on on, a, on the Rise TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need oh, to get them sure. on that. Get y'all on, get y'all platform interview with them, you know, with uh, with them folks out there in North Carolina. So, mm -hmm. for sure, uh, so for sure. yeah, it would yeah, yeah, be a good look, I think. You know, you know, we so. all the way linked in, man. So it ain't no thing, man. So yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> y'all got anything y'all wanna say? I'm good. Got any last words for us, man? I do. Actually, the last words that I gotta say is this: so, you know, I always gotta leave something with the people, man, to make sure that they understand that. Um, you know, Von T ride for us, man. Like for real. Like I want to see, I want to see everybody win. I do. I know everybody's not gonna win, but I want to see everybody win. So if you ever see me, man, I'm like real personal. You can come up to me and talk to me. Like I really love working and networking with anybody that's out there. And the last words that I would say to somebody, man, is don't let nobody tell you that you can't be what you want to be, bro. Yeah, like as long as you got your plan together and you know a couple of steps within there. We live in the age of technology. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Go and do your own research and you can figure out how to do whatever you want to do. You want to be a damn doctor you want to be you know a lawyer or you want to be an artist like you know you got to do is take them steps those initial steps started within yourself so go out there and look up those first steps and then if you got questions along the way ask the questions but you can do the first steps by yourself yeah so good gems right there shout out shout out you got any shout outs yeah, yeah, like, um, so shout out to LaShawn the Boisterous, you know what I'm saying, my right hand person, my girl, my friend, you know what I'm saying, we be rocking and rolling together. Shout out to G Man Entertainment out of Virginia, shout out to Green Crosses, E Core out of California, uh, Vibration Frequency, J Horn Films, The Drop TV Show, you know, we finna bring the heat to Cali, uh, we finna bring the, the heat to the TV, and then for all my folks out there in Cali, make sure that y'all follow that as well, because I'm gonna make sure that I bring some special guests. On the drop TV show, DC Young Fly, you better look out for me, bro, because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be tapping in with you. Know what I mean, so you know, what I'm saying when I hit them up, you know what's going on, it's gonna be lit. So yeah. So so man, you already know what's your boy Wise Got Q, the mouth for the soap. What's your girl, one honey, Damn, keeping it the honey. It's your boy DG behind the scenes. Hey, bro, what you doing with that hair? <laughs> That's it. That's a whole other conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, crazy. <laughs> That's just a thought, you know. 
And that boy Brian T, man, tell me where to find you at, bro. Yeah, you can find me on all social media platforms at Kovu1278, Kovu, K-O-V-U-1278, or just type in TDO space V. You'll see the helmet. You already know it's going to be me streaming on all major platforms. Von T, one of the certified, most certified, uh, hottest Pandora stations out there right now. You think I'm lying? Go ahead and pull it up. I guarantee you ain't going to listen to nobody else's Pandora station but mine. So, and then, you know, all major platforms, like I said, go check out the new single Lit. Right now, you're gonna get lit when you listen to it. So, yeah. I'm coming, honey, get so lit. Honey, get so lit. Honey, get so lit. I should go. Honey, get so lit. I can drink my fit. I can hit your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we good. Yeah.